Today I am going to discuss with you about star and delta connection of motor from my electrical engineer work experience from Gulf and India. This star and delta connection are only related to the three phase motors not to the single phase motors because for these connections we need three windings inside the three phase motor there are three windings okay uh, but inside the single phase motor there are only two windings running winding and starting winding so we cannot connect the single phase motor on star or on delta if you want to get deep information about this star and delta please stay on this channel till the last of this video without skipping it is a three phase motor and it is a terminal box i just enlarged this terminal box over here and the terminals are given as t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 uh, you may be wondering that the t1 starts from the left t1 t2 t3 they are on sequence but on the top t4 supposed to starts from the left but it starts only from the middle t4 t5 and then t6 why it is so it is for to make the delta connection symbol i will explain it later it is the stator inside the three phase motor there are three windings okay uh, each winding has two terminals t1 t4 t2 t5 and t3 t6 okay so this single findings two terminals are t1 and t4 this t1 and t4 are shown over here t1 and t4 which means this t1 and t4 has inter connection see it has inter connection which t2 t5 has inter connection and t3 t6 has inter connection i just uh, draw a dotted line over here only for your understanding when we look at the uh, terminal box we cannot see this connection okay uh, it is only shown on the stator i am going to show you how to connect this three phase motor on star here i again drawn the same terminals before giving the power i need to short the above terminals like this okay and then need to give the voltage through t1 t2 and t3 it is ry and b here i just draw the Uh, winding diagram of this uh, same motor for to show how the star connection will look like on the windings see here i just draw it on a uh, star fashion uh, see here i told you t4 t5 t6 are interconnected see here t4 t5 t6 are interconnected okay and we give power through t1 t2 t3 so t1 t2 t3 we already give the r y b power okay it is on anti clockwise direction see here we get a common point this point is called star point or neutral point in the case of three phase motor we don't require this a neutral point so we will not take it outside but in the case of the distribution transformer the distribution transformer means its uh, secondary terminals are star connected we will take this neutral point outside on the distribution transformer and we will earth this neutral point we would do like this for to give power to the single phase load if we do like this uh, we will get a potential difference of 230 voltage between phase and neutral so it is useful for to give uh, power to the single phase loads now i am going to show you how to connect this same three phase motor on delta for that before give the power we need to just short t1 t6 t2 t4 and t3 t5 like this okay then give power through a t1 t2 and t3 as before as on star connection r y b see here i just draw the windings of the stator on a delta fashion we already connected t1 t6 so here t1 t6 is connected t2 t4 t2 t4 is connected and t3 t5 t3 t5 is connected and if we give power to these terminals so t1 r and t2 uh, t2 y and to t3 b t3 b we already give see here is no any neutral point when only this t4 starts from here then only we could make this delta connection like this so i am going to give you some information about the uh, peculiarities of delta and star connection uh, when we connect our motor on delta then uh, we will get the full power 
of that motor that means suppose our motor is a 15 kilowatt motor when we connect it on delta we will get this full power okay so the power is maximum and the next one is the voltage of the uh, three phase motor you know on delta connection see here on delta connection the each winding is getting the voltage through both sides see here r and y is connected to single winding that means each winding is getting a voltage of 230 voltage through here and here also 230 voltage that means each winding is getting a voltage of 230 into root 3 means 415 voltage okay in our three phase system the line to line voltage is 415 voltage okay that same voltage is received by each winding of the motor when it is on delta connection that means uh, the each winding is getting a high voltage high power that is why uh, when we connect a motor on delta we getting the full power because of this high voltage and due to this high voltage on each winding the motor will turn on high rpm and also the torque of the motor is maximum we will get 100 percentage of torque on delta connection and the next parameter is current uh, when we calculate the current of this motor on delta connection it will be around full load ampere will be around 32.6 amps see here current calculation is p by v root 3 cos theta into efficiency here the power is 15 kilowatt means 15,000 watt when we connect this same three phase motor of 15 kilowatt on star connection what is what will happen see uh, each winding of the motor will get a voltage of only 230 each winding of the motor is getting uh, the power only through one side that means 230 voltage that means this voltage is less compared to uh, the delta connection and due to this low voltage means in our system the 230 voltage is actually phase voltage means uh, voltage between phase and neutral that means this voltage is less compared to delta connection due to that the power of the motor is also reduced here which means uh, the power will be reduced to 30 to 40 percentage which means a 15 kilowatt motor will become a 5 to 6 kilowatt also due to this less voltage and less power uh, this star connection will give us a very less torque the torque will be also reduced to uh, 30 to 40 percentage like power and also due to this less voltage the rpm or the speed of the motor will be reduced in industries uh, for to get the full power from a motor we need to connect a motor on delta connection only but in industries we will not connect full power on a motor suppose my motor is 15 kilowatt motor uh, here in industries we only connect 80 to 90 percentage load only to this motor which means uh, the load approximately equal to uh, 12 to 13 kilowatt only we will connect to this motor how could we understand that uh, our load is 80 or 90 percentage current is directly proportional to the power which means 80 to 90 percentage of this 15 kilowatt means 80 to 90 percentage of this current so here the full load current is 32.6 ampere the 80 to 90 percentage of this ampere will be around 26 to 27 ampere so in industries engineers will set this uh, ampere range on their relay for to avoid the overloading of this motor in industries why we always uh, load our motor on 80 to 90 percentage we are actually giving a 10 to 20 percentage safety margin for to avoid the overheating of the motor and to avoid the insulation breakdown of the motor the efficiency of the motor is maximum only at 80 to 90 percentage of the loading you know on the motor nameplate uh, we could see uh, the efficiency as 80 percentage 85 percentage 90 percentage like that see the efficiency is fixed we cannot increase the efficiency but it will be decreased for some reasons uh, you know after each rewinding of the motor 
efficiency will be reduced to 1 percentage and also when the load of the motor reduced to 30 percentage 40 percentage or 50 percentage like that efficiency will be reduced you know uh, from this current equation we can see that the efficiency and the current are inversely proportional which means uh, whenever the efficiency decreases hmm, the current increase which means whenever the current increases the motor will be overheated and also the insulation failure will be happen on the motor hmm. suppose our load has been decreased to this much percentage which means uh, our load is now only a 5 to 6 kilowatt okay in this condition if we still connect our motor on delta means our motor is actually 15 kilowatt okay now we have the load only at 5 to 6 kilowatt okay that means the load decreased but the motor still on this 15 kilowatt power which means there is a huge difference between this uh, power okay load is only 6 kilowatt but the motor power is 15 kilowatt which means independent of this 6 kilowatt load for to power this motor for to run this motor uh, independent of this load the motor will take the full load amps 32.6 ampere in this condition we need to connect our motor on star because on star connection our motors power will be reduced to 5 to 6 kilowatt and our load is also this much 5 to 6 kilowatt means both the load and power of the motor are same in this condition when we connect this 5 to 6 kilowatt load on this uh, 5 to 6 kilowatt motor our efficiency will be uh, maintained on that 80 to 90 percentage because this load uh, will become 80 to 90 percentage on this motor for to maximum efficiency we need 80 to 90 percentage of the load so that problem is solved and also uh, on the star connection our motor is only this 5 to 6 kilowatt right for to power this motor this 6 kilowatt or 5 kilowatt motor uh, the motor will take only a full load amps of about 10.9 uh, amps uh, through this we can decrease the electricity bill also if you think you got some valuable information from this video please like and share this video and to get more videos like this with lot of information don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon thanks for watching